call hello, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, to the house of David, the one third men, women, and children. Just touched down in my city, man. Reporting from the gutter. Straight out of the fucking gutter, man. Fucking sick and tired of this place. You know, and as it gets warmer, it gets crazy because as it gets warmer, the fucking demons want to come out and play. Fucking demons, man. You know, uh, you see a lot of weird shit in New York City, man, and a lot of bullshit. You know, that's one of the things that sucks about working in the hospitality industry. You know, you're serving people and whatnot. But you got to put up with a lot of bullshit. And on top of that, I got to serve these heathens, you know, and all this bullshit. And, and got to put up with motherfuckers complaining about that, you know, saying gay people should have rights, trans should have rights. Meanwhile, I'm walking down the street and I got to constantly see a, 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 a fucking so-called man with titties, man, and makeup on. You know what I'm saying? And motherfuckers talking about that, yeah, he should be able to use, they should be able to use whatever bathroom they want. It shouldn't be segregated or none of that. Man, fuck all that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Fuck all that talk about this, this, and that. And then, you know... Like Romans, uh, to roughly paraphrase, because I'm, you know, basically walking and talking right now, and I don't have the scriptures on me. But Romans 12 and 2 it says, uh, "Be and be ye not conformed to this world, but be transformed with the renewing of your mind." You know, to paraphrase, um, you know, and we don't conform to this world, man. Fuck this world. You know, we gotta move wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove, man. But your shit is just vexing, man. Every fucking day, the same shit. Every day, you know, it's something, well, not the same shit. I mean, well, yeah, you know, the same fucking routine, but also, you know, the stress adds on, you know, and more new shit and bullshit, you know, um, uh, family and so-called friends uh, backstabbing you, you know, the demons is getting roused up, it's coming out, like I had this one, you know, uh, I mean, this is, uh, uh, next door from where I work. This is, uh, this, uh, she's of Dutch descent from Maine, too. And that's a shit, man. People from Maine are fucking weird, man. Like, I, I've met people, I've been meeting people from up Maine, man. I don't know what the fuck goes on up there, man, but they're fucking weirdos, bro. You know, and, you know, she's of Dutch descent, of course. Yeah. <laughs> You know, a little does she know, or maybe she does, and she's just playing it all, but, you know, the way she described her father, yeah, definitely, man, somewhere down the line, your grand grandfathers or whatever uh, have fucking slaves and shit, you know, and she swears, you know, she she's, she uh, is not about, you know, races or prejudice, all of us work together, but she comes in and she tells me, yeah, you know, and I'm done with black people, I'm so done with black people, and I'm like, what you mean you're done with black people? And she says that, yeah, it's like, you know, I'm trying to like, you know, my state of mind is let's all work together. But they want to be so, you know, only inclusive with themselves and they don't want my help. So I'm just going to have to target, you know, the white people in the audience, you know, because those are like my people. But then again, I don't fit in with white people. I don't like them. This is not that. And it's like, yo, in my head, I'm thinking this is why it's important to know where, the, where you belong. You know, where are you from? You know, where does, you, where does your father come from? Who are your people? Get to know your people. You know, because then you don't get to know where you come from. You got shit like that. All right? You know what I'm saying? And the most high ain't, ain't the author confusion. You know, as it is written. But you got these people running around thinking that they're going to join hand in hand and shit. When in reality, like the scriptures say that, um, um, uh, the scripture says that every man shall flee into his own nation. You know? And um, so what you expect, you know, on top of that, I had to break it down to her, you know, mind you, I'm at work, you know, closing up the shop and I had to break it down to her that, um, you know, there's energies at play here. I mean, what you expect, you know, where, uh, uh, you know, the spirit of, of my people is being roused up, which a lot of them is two thirds and they're going to die off, you know, what I'm saying when they start killing each other and shit. Um when riots break out and the food shortages, you know, but what you expect, you know, you got, you got karma being played out, you know, on a, on a fucking nation that was built by bloodshed, 
I told her straight up. I looked her in the eyes and I said, look, you got, you got karma to pay. You know what I'm saying? Your people came over here, stole this shit from my people. You know what I'm saying? Fucking slaughtered them. You know? Still oppressing. It's fucking up the planet. It's a lot of bloodshed. You know what I'm saying? You want to talk about haunted houses and shit? Motherfucker, you got a haunted fucking land. You know what I'm saying? Haunted land. <clears throat> and so karma is being played out. You got the protests, you know, in uh, Standing Rock, which right now, that's, that's, ter- that's, that's a hot mess. Okay? You know, you got protests and riots everywhere, which a lot of them is staged too, you know. Um, George Soros' name is behind uh, a lot of that, you know. Um, you got to really watch what these Rockefellers, man, and these Rothschilds are doing. Um, you have, you have uh, the anti-Trump movements, like I said, um, most likely stage shit. Um, you have, you have the cancers, cancerous cities. You know that are stricken with with with, with a cancer a cancer called poverty, and and just complete madness. Like you got Chicago, okay, and you know people they just just going all out killing each other, you know. And so you got those same thugs, you know what I'm saying? What they what you think is gonna happen when uh, the food shortages? When the food shortages happen, they're going to go and, and they just take shit. They're going to take from the neighbor. They're going to definitely go into them fucking crackers, homes, man, them towns. And you're going to have them crackers there. You know, they've been they've been shooting weapons. They've been shooting guns, whatever. They're going to be there. Um, they're going to be there uh, uh, ready to defend. You know what I'm saying? And hold it down. You know? But... Point is, not to sidetrack, the point is that, like, I had to explain to her that there's a lot of karma being played out, you know? There's a lot of karma being played out, and it's just not going to go away, you know? Those people that, that are the descendants, and they know, they know very well who they are, but they are the descendants of those that put our people in slavery. They got to fucking pay, you know? And so, of course, my people is on some shit, like... Nah, we don't want your help. You know what I'm saying? Well, at least, at least the ones that ain't fucking cooning, of course they're gonna be like, nah, we don't want your help. We wanna do this on our own. We wanna, we wanna be on top. You know what I'm saying? Cause the way that that a lot of us feel, especially us men, and the truth, the way that we feel is yo fuck cooperation. You know what I'm saying? Cooperation is for bitches. You know what I'm saying? We only cooperating with the Most High. You know what I'm saying? In the name of His Son. You know, so being being that said that we only cooperating with our power in the name of His Son, you know, uh, the way that we see it is either we're gonna be in the bottom or we're gonna be on top. You know, and if it was up to you, goddamn, if these goddamn devils, we would be at the bottom forever. But we ain't trying to be at the bottom forever. You know what I'm saying? We trying to rise up. Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. We're trying to rise up uh, to our rightful heirs. You know, like it was written in Deuteronomy that we are a holy people unto the Lord. A special people above all people that are on the face of the earth. So why wouldn't we want that? You know? But, I mean, you got niggas and spicks on the left hand side. You know, that they want that, but they want it according to their will. It's like... They think backwards, you know. They uh, they think. They think it's like it's like it's like it blows my mind because they still think according to preserving the system, you know. They think that just removing the puppets, I I take away. It's to say if I take away, you know, the rulers, the president, remove this president. Remove, um, I don't know, this mayor, you know, uh, attorney general, whoever. You remove the people in power, you still got the system going, man. You got to destroy the whole shit, man. All right? When the Babylonian Empire fell, the whole shit fell. Along with the philosophies and the ideals and the government system, man. 
you know what I'm saying, and the next empire came and took that shit over. You know what I'm saying, Medo-Persians and the Greeks, Romans, etc. All, every single empire, man. There's the whole shit needs to completely collapse, you know what I'm saying, in order to bring about another empire. And that's what these motherfuckers don't get. That's what two-thirds of our people don't get. You know what I'm saying? Even, you know, people are in fucking denial. They're going to think that, you know, we're going to rise, you know, which is a, a fucking naive and irresponsible to think that we're going to rise with these motherfuckers still in power, you know, or this fucking system still in place, or that we will ever be on an equal playing field with these devils. Are you crazy? You know what I'm saying? Because that's what these devils do. These devils, you know, these devils are pussies, man. They hate confrontation. You know, you know how it says open rebuke is better than secret love? That's what they're good at. They're good at loving secretly, man. They do everything in secret. Everything they do is in secret because they are fucking, they have no valid. They have no backbone. You know what I'm saying? They're fucking cowards. So so you, if you think that you're going to join hand in hand with a damn heathen, man, especially these Edomites, man, these so-called fucking crackers, man, you're going to join hand in hand with them and be equal with them. All right, and that they're not gonna try and plot, okay, to get rid of your ass, all right, on some gangster shit. Get rid of your ass so they can keep the whole pie for themselves. You know what I'm saying? That's why these these heathens, man, they have no idea what's coming. Especially these Edomites, man. These Edomites, you know, this bitch at work, man. She was talking about, you know, yeah, all of us coming together and all of us equal. Believe that we're all equal, all of that, but that's bullshit, man. Because if you had to choose, like I love, I love movies, man, that show situations like that, when people are put on the spot, and there's and there's their life on the line, and they're desperate, you know, the first thing that the first instinct that kicks in automatically in anybody is, I don't want to die, all right. And then what you're gonna think after that is, after after you think I don't want to die is, you know, what do I have to do to survive? So pe- when people, man, are pushing the corner, man, most people, right, because they don't have no morals, no principles, no, no, they don't really stand for nothing, you know, their foundation is not strong, you know what I'm saying, in something, you know, so there's a lot of betrayal, there's a lot of backstabbing, right, you know, that's why, you know, like it says in the scriptures, if any man come not according to this uh, word, man, you know what I'm saying? Receive him not into your house. You know what I'm saying? If they come not according to the testimony, to the word and to the testimony, roughly paraphrasing, you know, there is no light in them. You know? So that's why we don't really, we ain't supposed to fuck with nobody, man. You know what I'm saying? That isn't about this. You know? <clears throat> It says in uh, 1 John 2 and 15, it says, Love not the world, neither the things that are of the world. You know, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. All right, that's 1 John 2 and 15. All right? And, and it's easy to see that. It's easy when you're not conformed to this world. It's easy to not love the world. Okay? When you can, if the love of the Father is in you, that is, you know, which is a gift. And, you know, along with that is, is, is the faith. You know, so if the love of the Father is in you, man, you know, <laughs> then bless out of your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear, you know, because, you know, there's really no point, you know, at this point. I mean, we prophesy and we're supposed to do that. And that's that's for the elect, man. That's really for the elect. When we prophesy, when we make these videos, you know, all of that is not for naught, you know, but for a lot of you, two thirds is for naught, you know. Because you're not going to take heat. I was thinking, you know, that when that heathen came to my job, you talk too much heathen. You know, as soon as going to be, you know, everybody's going to be in full subjection. There ain't going to be no, um, oh, we got to work together. Oh, we're all equal. Oh, I'm sick and tired of that shit, man. You know, fighting for your rights. Meanwhile, these motherfuckers have no clue, man, that World War Three is already underway. Motherfuckers want to be in denial, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, they really, they, yo, it's really in them, like, it's crazy because they can't fucking see that this shit is about to go down like the uh, the Roman Empire, 
it's a lock. Loud ass cars. This this is about to go down like the Roman Empire went down. You know what I'm saying? They can't see that. You know, they still uh planning for the future, talking about uh five, ten, fifteen years from now. Man, fuck five, ten, fifteen years from now. You know what I'm saying? Tomorrow ain't even promised. You know? And here we go as we get closer and closer to the uh to the days, you know, uh it's just you can just feel it that something big is gonna happen. Like today I was reading an article um about uh witches worldwide want to put a curse a hex on uh, donald trump you know and they're like you know they were syncing up it's supposed to be going down right now as a matter of fact um it was said at 12 a.m you know witches like to do shit at midnight and and, and pass and shit you know that dark energy shit well, however that works but yeah late at night shit but you know, right now, you got a whole bunch of them coming together to put a, a curse. This is unheard of, by the way. Like, these people want him out of office so bad, you know, um, that they're coming together to place a curse on him so bad things can happen to him. You know, possibly get destroyed, but really it's all in the most high's hands. But it's just crazy how people come together for that. You know, and not enough people come together for, well, well the right people, which is our people come together to serve the lord like uh, the other script another scripture you know if our if uh if uh roughly paraphrasing you know if our people were to humble down man and turn to the lord man you know what i'm saying the lord would deliver us instantly it's a lot. it's a lot of loud ass trucks you know so the lord would deliver us if our people were to come together you know but I bet you there's a, a mad two thirds, you know, being involved in the um them goddamn uh, left hand side enchantments, putting curses on on Donald Trump, you know, which really what you're supposed to be thinking is yo. Removing that puppet is just gonna bring somebody else in, that could possibly be worse. But then again, not really, cause they ain't doing shit. They're just puppets, getting pulled. You know, they're not they're not pulling the strings. Their strings is getting pulled. You know. You know, really, really, Judah just needs to get roused up already. You know, and all hell just needs to break loose already. But, you know, in due season. And, um, so, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, do this walk and talk. I'm already at the doorstep of my house. But I wanted to do this walk and talk because the vibe that's in the air is, uh, you know, is warm out. Oh, shit, spring came early. Spring came early. And the first thing these motherfuckers are stinking is you know um uh it's time to party you know instead of thinking oh man it's getting warm early you know what's going on with the planet you know what's going on with fukushima what's going on with them oil spills in the oceans the oceans is dying whales and dolphins beaching themselves birds falling out of the skies you know what i'm saying the water ain't safe to drink the air ain't safe to breathe the soil ain't safe to even grow shit, you know. But the first thing that these devils is thinking about, all these fucking heathens, two-thirds is, you know, oh, it's warm out, time to party, man. And that's why I hate, yo, you know, I grew up in the hood my whole life, but I, I, I like being isolated. I like being in the cut. I like the suburbs because it's quiet. I like space, you know what I'm saying? I get out of work. Walking uh, up and down the Ave and all of that in them streets, you know, to get to my um, train station. Fucking heathens in the way, you know, acting all wild and obnoxious. All loud and extra, you know what I'm saying? Uh, men dressing like women, women dressing like men. Every day is getting worse and worse. You know what I'm saying? You got these idiots that are... <laughs> Salakia. You got these idiots that are not even, you know, dressing in drag. They're dressing, yeah, fagged out effeminate, but just like boldly like wearing makeup on their face. Like like just 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 looking regular. You know what I'm saying? Just looking regular. Rocking makeup on their faces. You know, uh, um, all these stupid conversations, man. It's just, it's just tiring, man. 
He's tired. He just want to go home. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired right now, too. I just got out of work. Man, I don't really have nothing else to say, man. I don't have nothing else to say except for this, that, you know, after Purim, we had the feast in Purim, and that 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 felt like, you know, the last partying that we're going to do and actually enjoy ourselves. Like, I can't even enjoy myself anymore at doing anything, you know. The only thing I do feel right is Salakia. Salakia, that's what I hate about this street, man. It's a busy street, so these loud-ass cars. But, you know, the only thing that uh, brings me any peace of mind, man, is uh, these scriptures. And like it says in Isaiah 33 and 6 that, uh, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. You know, that's exactly how, how I feel, man, every day. That's exactly how we feel, you know, the brothers, man. You know, this wisdom and knowledge is really the stability of our times. And if it wasn't for this, man, we would either be given into the world in the madness or we would have we would be uh, 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 just <laughs> suicidal, man, for lack of a, of, of a better term term. I mean, to be honest, you know, because when you see what we see, man, when you endure what we endure, living it through these eyes, OK, through the Lord's eyes, the Lord put in his spirit in us and awakening us. And and uh, and live in the separation, okay? The the sifting, okay? Because there's sifting going on, you know. Our people is being marked, you know. People are waking up. People are realizing, you know, who we are. Our people are realizing who they are, okay? That they're the children of Israel, not black, Hispanic. All right. You know, so, you know, the, mo the momentum, you know, is, is, is coming. The momentum is here. Things are rolling, all right? And it's about to get heavy, you know? And even though I say, uh, uh, you know, let hell break loose already, you know, uh, want this to be over already, you know, remember that as it is written, you know, through much tribulation shall we enter the kingdom, okay? So... Yeah, we hasten the day because we want to get out of here. But remember that through much tribulation, we shall enter the kingdom and pray to the Lord that, you know, he departs not the Holy Spirit from us so that um, we may be able to endure and do everything in our power to stand in the day of evil, man, in the day of wrath, in the day of darkness, you know, because uh, <laughs> shit, man, it really hit me the other day, man, you know, uh, I don't know why, but I just kept thinking, like, you know, like, it, 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 <laughs> like the scripture says, um, uh, is, will there be any faith left on the earth, man? And in the day of Jacob's trouble, Salaki, another loud ass truck. Yeah, that's another reason why I just hate Babylon, man, all this loud... These loud noises, man. You know, but um, but yeah, man. When uh, when all hell breaks loose, man. You know, faith is gonna be a scarce thing. Hope, faith. You know, love. Everybody wants to talk madness about yeah. Let's all come together and do this, this, and that. But. Lot, what a lot of these hippies want to do, you know, all come together and love and, and everybody work together. And it doesn't matter that you're gay, transsexual, uh, black, white, brown, purple. You know what I'm saying? We can all work together and love each other. You know what I'm saying? They don't understand that what they want to what they want to create is essentially a new system that is not going to exist within this system. All right. This whole thing has to collapse you know, which is going to collapse, you know? And so those same people, you know, that are working in vain for all this bullshit, you know, <laughs> they're going to get hit hard, man. You know what I'm saying? Talking about motherfuckers wanting to, are going to want to kill themselves, 
You know, people are going to want to kill themselves, but they won't be able to. Okay? People are going to people are going to be eating their children. All right? People are going to be doing things that they never thought they would ever do out of desperation, you know? And those are scary times, man. That's why you got to constantly pray, man. Pray for yourself. Pray for your brothers. Pray that the Lord depart not the Holy Spirit from you, you know? And um, stay in the Spirit, man. Let uh, uh, Stay in the Spirit so that this wisdom and knowledge, you know, uh, remains the stability of thy times. You know? Because these scriptures, man, these scriptures go a long way. You know, they, they are life, you know, and uh, <laughs> those that endure to the end shall be saved. Those that die martyrs, you know, for the Lord's sake, in the name of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, you know, they too shall be saved. They shall be risen up first, the first ones to receive crowns. <clears throat> but it's like I always say. We can do all this talking. We can do a lot of talking. And a lot of talking has already been done. But real will recognize real when real shit gets done. And then we're going to know what's real. Shalom.